This is a bronze sculpture of a dancing Hevadra, an eight-headed, sixteen-armed, four-legged tour de force of bronze casting from Cambodia, dating to around 1200. The importance of yoga in the practice of Tantric Buddhism is absolutely central. It is through physical discipline, the use of the body in ritual and meditation, and the use of mantras that are also an important aspect of yogic practice. These are the sacred sounds and syllables that lead one to a greater understanding and mental focus is here indicated with this image because this image stands for a whole set of explanations of how one can perform certain rituals and certain ceremonies in order to reach enlightenment in a short period of time. This image is a special emanation, a powerful emanation of an enlightened Buddha by the name of Akshobhya. This particular emanation is encountered only through yogic meditation, and his teachings are conveyed through the practice of meditation and visualization, which can only be achieved through high-level yogic practice. This is a bronze sculpture of a dancing Hevadra, dating to around 1200. It is a tour de force of bronze casting from Cambodia, derived from the traditions of Khmer sculptors, and it differs greatly from other kinds of images of Hevadra that we find in the Himalayas and northeastern India. This image is a special emanation, a powerful emanation, of an enlightened Buddha by the name of Akshobhya, he is shown here dancing with four legs and 16 arms and eight heads, surrounded by Dakinis, who are female enlightened beings who form a ring of eight dancing figures around the main figure, thereby comprising what the tantric texts consider as the mandala of Hevadra. Hevadra is shown here with a variety of figures in each one of his 16 hands, some animal, some human, but each of his hands has a skull cup, and this is the key iconographic feature that identifies Hevadra as opposed to other tantric dancing beings. The energy and the dynamism of this piece is remarkable and unparalleled stylistically. The arms radiate from him as though it were a kind of mandorla of energy. The twisting of his sampot, which is fastened by a butterfly knot in the back, the butterfly knot itself being a separate cast piece as well, and is something that is distinctive of this particular period stylistically. The image of Hevadra indicates that at the temple where this Hevadra would have been kept or would have been used, the rituals prescribed in the text called the Hevadra Tantra were being performed. The Hevadra Tantra is a series of ritual descriptions that were transmitted through a yogic vision of a yogi in India during the 9th century from the consort of Hevadra. And these are basically descriptions of special rituals, particular mantras, and activities that one should perform and follow in order to come closer to the attainment of enlightenment. So it's kind of a process manual of Tantric Buddhism, and it was an important text that was followed by practitioners of Tantric Buddhism in Cambodia, especially under Jayavarman VII, the Khmer king during the, the late 12th to early 13th centuries. <laughs> <laughs>